A whole terminal at the Kiev Borisville airport was set up to greet Ukraine's Paralympians. The terminal's usually closed, but this is a special occasion. The Ukrainian Paralympic team took sixth place at the Winter Paralympics in Pyeongchang, but it was a personal victory for each athlete. We celebrate your success with all Ukraine. We are proud that thanks to you, every day at the Paralympic Games in Korea, the Ukrainian anthem was heard and our national flag was hoisted. This year, the Paralympians received bonuses equal to those given to participants in the Olympics. The minister announced their allocation during the meeting. All the money promised by the government, that is $125,000 for gold, $80,000 for silver, and $55,000 for bronze, were already paid. This is a total of $3,400,000. The hall is covered with flowers and banners displaying words of gratitude and pride for the achievement of the athletes. They are called heroes and their performance in Pyeongchang a heroic deed. 20 athletes took home a total of 22 medals. Oksana Shishkova alone won six medals. All of us, we are all heroes. We have put our utmost effort in this. Every one of us showed our best effort. All of us did our best. The whole team did it for Ukraine. Aside from winning medals, Vitaly Lukyanenko also carried the flag at the opening of the 2018 Paralympics. This was both a big responsibility and a difficult task. The role of flag carrier is considered bad luck among Ukrainian athletes. None of them have previously won any medals. But it didn't affect Lukyanenko's performance as he took two gold and one bronze medal home. It's rather ambiguous. I always ask the same thing then. Which Paralympic Games were more difficult? I can't tell. Each was difficult in its own way. The Ukrainian team has won more medals, including gold ones, than it did four years ago in Sochi. The 2018 Paralympics are over, but the athletes are already making plans for the next one, which will be held in Beijing in 2022.